What's up guys, it's Full Snack Developer here and today I'm talking about the three main resources that I use to learn to program and that I recommend for you if you're learning to program or would like to advance your skills uh, in programming. So, I'm gonna go chronologically through the websites that I use when I was first starting and I think it's a good flow, um, basically starting from beginner, intermediate to, to expert. So, number one on my list is Code Academy. This is an amazing website for if you're just starting out, you wanna learn the, you know, the basics of programming, I think this website is fantastic. It takes you from you know, absolutely no knowledge um, to a really healthy understanding of the, the language in a very um, interactive way. It's, uh, it's got a really cool setup between instructions, uh, the, the coding interface or text editor uh, to the output. And it's a fantastic way to learn. It's the way that I learned and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking to get into the field of programming or you, know, you want to you know, brush up on your base skills of concepts uh, in programming. So Code Academy is my number one recommendation for resources to use when you're learning to program. My second recommendation for learning how to program is Pluralsight. So after I was done going through the basics with Code Academy and I had started working on my own projects and starting to you know, mess around with code on my own, um, I got using Pluralsight, which is a great resource uh, full of very professional courses um, in a lot of different areas of programming. Um, and it was really helpful to me because the courses really started to, you know, uh, drill down into <clears throat> specific areas and frameworks uh, of programming that I was interested in uh, and that I wanted to advance in. And it was $15 a month and it was totally worth it because um, I was going through tutorial after tutorial. Uh, so for $15 a month, I could go through as many tutorials as I'd like. Um, and it was a great resource. I learned a lot. Um, it's really where I got my start into React development. Um, and it's what I used to <clears throat> actually get uh, one of my jobs uh, as a front end lead. So I definitely credit a lot of my learning to Pluralsight and I, I highly recommend uh, Pluralsight as a resource for learning how to program and advance your skills even farther. My third recommendation for resources on learning how to program is Udemy. Now I saved this one for last because it is my favorite. This is the one where I have learned the most from. You can buy the courses for just $15 each, usually on sale, um, and they're incredible. Uh, they're rated by stars so that you can find the best one uh, in your field based on other people's you know, reviews on them. The courses have paid instructors, so you know the courses are really well thought through. Udemy has a, you know, a recommendation base on the best courses with the best reviews, so you can always find uh, you know, the top courses to learn, and they're always very extensive. They go very into detail, and it's a huge recommendation for me. I've learned so much from Udemy, and uh, it's for sure worth the money that gets spent on it. The amount you're able to learn for just $15 a course is really incredible. So Udemy is my final recommendation for resources on learning how to program. Now I'm gonna throw in a little bonus. YouTube, um, learncode.academy is a great channel to follow. There's many others out there, but I have learned so many uh, you know, solutions to problems and learning how to code different you know, frameworks and all kinds of things through YouTube and through Googling. Stack Overflow, there's piles of resources out there. You can find them uh, just by Googling. And uh, like, don't be afraid uh, of getting out there and, and finding your own resources because you know there's, there's a lot of other great resources out there. I know Treehouse is one of them or you know, Khan Academy. There's a pile of online uh, you know, learning tools that you, you can get your hands on um, for very cheap or even free. So go and find some more resources of your own. I'd love to hear about them and uh, never stop learning, never stop programming.